Passion and persistence have brought Colette Begonia back to the trail to train for the 2014 Paralympics. After doing wheelchair racing in 91, I also discovered cross-country skiing from a former athlete, Joe Harrison, and uh, Pat Prokopchik and Jeff Whiting said, we have a sit ski, do you want to try it? And I tried it and I was like, yes, this completes me kind of feeling normal as an athlete and having that opportunity to ski in winter. Begonia's career has spanned decades. She is one of only a few athletes to win multiple medals in the Paralympic Summer and Winter Games. My first Paralympics was in 92, and since then it's been more the gold to medal. Today, with nine Olympics behind her, Begonia is a mentor for budding athletes. It was a huge shock when I first met Colette. I had no idea that there was a Paralympic athlete right in my hometown. In her teens, Bergonia was a promising cross-country runner competing at a national level. But in 1980, a car accident left her paralyzed. It was her university professors that encouraged her to continue on in sports. They also found some sports that I could be active in as far as wheelchair racing. And I found a, a former wheelchair athlete that competed in Seoul, had mentioned to me that I could go to the Paralympics and that began a journey of wheelchair racing and cross-country skiing and a relationship with SAS Sport that has been phenomenal. Brittany was born without part of her left arm. She says a chance meeting with Colette changed her life. The thing as a developing athlete is you don't always know what questions to ask and Colette's very aware of that so any information that I need she just hands it my way and it's been really great working with her and she's such a motivating person. At 51 years old she's training for what she says is her final Paralympics in Sochi, Russia. Definitely be awesome if we can go together if we are you know if I'm healthy and Brittany makes it to the team that's just going to be an experience that'll be awesome and we'll make it a good time and uh, do our best for Canada. Colette will compete in the sport of cross-country sit skiing. She trail trains alongside her 20-year-old protege. I hope that I can make it to Sochi. I think that would be a really good experience for my first Paralympics. And then hopefully in the next four years, I could even do better at the Paralympics after that in Korea. Bergonia will spend the final months before the Olympic Games training in Canmore, Alberta. She says there's a huge sense of accomplishment and pride with winning a medal. Hudak hopes to one day experience that feeling for herself. For Shaw, I'm Lisa Rizum.